to another episode of the self development with tactics podcast um yet another modeling one um today today we're gonna do something in houdini again uh i should actually I think mention it's the apprentice version so it is free and you can try it out and you can do stuff and you can then you know put it into blender uh after after maybe even i don't know optimizing it with mesh lab so that you know you're not having that big of a, of a file because i have a feeling or uh, experience has shown that blender is not doing too well with huge data sets so yeah i mean totally fucking free um workflow here which I, I think is really amazing i'm trying to do something new today or i'm trying to try out something new today uh so chances are that it's not gonna turn out really good and or it's i am not doing really good <laughs> i have um i have made a, a simple setup here um it should be kind of architectural related and this is you know why this is what it is and um but I think though that I'm gonna add uh, another element, you know, like some, um, um, some rather uh, like vertical elements to you know contrast all of those horizontals. But yeah, um, let's see. Uh, so therefore, I think that I'm gonna transform this box there, and I'm gonna transform it in the following way that I'm gonna do. I don't know, 50 there probably, and everything else is gonna be really small, something like this maybe. It's a bit unnecessary to have so many subdivisions, but but it's fine. It is fine. It is fine. Um, maybe it's also gonna be a 60, and then we're gonna copy, copy to can't I just type copy two points? I might actually also do copy to curves. And so we having chosen you to copy and this one. Let's see what it does. And it's definitely not doing what I would like it to do. So I think that we're gonna, or I have just plugged it in in the wrong way. Geometry to copy and target curves. Okay. Um, primitives points. This should not do too much. Curve group. It's also not doing anything. Curve normal. Uh, the set axis. I mean, we could also just you know play around with something like this. Could be interesting, but um. Um, but yeah, this, <laughs> this is definitely not what I wanted to. Um, let's scatter this thing there and let's see what we're getting. I think one of the problems is that those subdivisions are creating like two, two, uh, planes basically. So I think that we're going to just, you know, drop it down to five or something. And we're going to work with that one, uh, copy two points. Uh, geometry to copy and the points there we go here we are and then we should merge them so we're having on one hand this and on one hand that and so let's have a look at it um i should apparently translate it because i've smoothened it might have not been the smartest idea there we could also do like this or do like two because two apparently are working um you know maybe maybe it's even good like this um but maybe i should also translate them upwards but i would like first of all i would like to make them a tiny bit thinner because they have been rather big in the first place already. And um, I mean, there are some intersections. You can think of them whatever you want. And I think then also going to make them to a 10. I don't know what it is. And some of them are flying. This is not really something I'd like to have. Um, Let's have a look at this merge thing. 
apparently we have to transform this bit here and maybe by scaling it right let's, let's do it like this i don't know i mean now we could also translate them to have something like that and maybe this looks better now and yes it does it's a bit more of something still a bit weird to 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 have that so maybe let's see, uh... okay th th this is rather perfect i'll take that i will just take that um so this is the last note i would like to have a look at vellum i don't know what vellum does but i think it is doing something cool uh i hope at least i guess that this is the one i haven't tried out yet um yesterday i was playing around with pyros and um i think it was yesterday i'm not quite sure and it it was nice it was cool but it was also a bit bit of a shitty thing because um the only thing about the apprentice version is that rendering j just don't do it it's um <laughs> it's not really worth the time uh also because mantra i guess is is really slow and so it's rather it, it, it's not that cool it, it really isn't um but it is what it is so let's have a look at the even more sticker place i would like to have a sticker okay anyway um let's have a look at vellum uh configure balloon cloth fluid grain grain pieces hair we could also do hair, might be interesting. Soft body, uh, tetradial soft body, properties, struts, and so on and so forth. I think, I think maybe I want to do a balloon. Maybe I indeed want to do a balloon, um, but let's go with the fluid. So it needs a geometry. There you go. And I have 16 warnings generated. This is always a good sign. That's always great to have that. And now it is loading and loading and loading. And I do hope that it is not dying here. And it actually looks like dying. And I should have indeed uh, <laughs> maybe um, saved the file. And so I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to save it to the desktop here. Um, just really quickly because in case things crash we are at least having it saved because I mean I, I, I do like this little bit of a structure there and um, how we could actually this would be cool completely just you know mirroring it so that we're having some sort of an egg-ish shape um, but yeah Can't I, can't I please save that now? Thank you very much. There's going to be something. <coughs> wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, does this do something? No, it doesn't. Create points from volume. It's not a volume. There is a constraint and there is a collision. There is also a particle size. There's also a method. What if I just, you know, turn up the particle size? What is going to happen? Nothing apparently that is interesting. Define pieces. What is happening then? Oh. Maybe, uh, maybe let's just, you know, not have the fluid. Maybe, could you please go away? Thank you. Maybe there is also something that I'm missing there. Um, configure properties, drape, glue, pack, post-process, reference frame, rest blend, solver. Maybe we de do need the solver though. So maybe the fluid wasn't that bad. But I would also like to have a look at the balloon. How can so let's plug you in and we probably then need the the vellum solver 
there we go and then we have constraints and i think we do not have any constraints and let's have a look at what this does i mean it is working something out and apparently it is doing it up to 170 probably because uh, this is where my timeline is at this point um it is quite fast i don't know if you can you see that uh, ah, yeah, you can see that indeed. Um, maybe it looks cool. Maybe it also doesn't. Who knows? Um, would be cool though to have some sort of a, um, some wind then, because maybe it is kind of cool. Twenty-seven, nine, thirty-one, three, five, thirty-six, eight, forty-two. 44, 6, 8, 50, 1, 3, 5. <laughs> Would be rather funny to just do not have anything now. But yeah. <laughs> to not have anything now, yeah. Okay. Okay, it does something. Okay, because we're having no collision. Um, but I mean, it. I think it's cool. I think it really is. I mean, okay. Obviously, we having uh, we we having gravity. That's good. It's good to have. I'm happy to have it. Um, but I guess we have to increase mass and change thickness primitive constraint pressure. Okay. Uh, breaking isn't there like volume uh, stiffness 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 there is some drag shit there is like I think dragging along something um stretch there is a stretch um I would like this pressure to be really high so that um you know it is like um how should I say? Um it, it, it is floating, it is flying. But I don't know how to do so. Let's go to twenty-four now and increase the stiffness by quite some bit. I don't know if anything changed there, to be honest. I really do not know. Um, so we are going to revert it to the default, which is one, wasn't it six? I don't know. Thickness, the 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 breaking attributes. Well, I do not know. I just do not know. What does the solver do? Time scale forces. Ah, there is gravity. Interesting to see that gravity is indeed like um, real gravity, like the 9.8, whatever. And there is some friction, also the simulation advanced. Uh, secondary constraints. Apparently there's nothing. Fluids visualize. Zorba. Smoothing iterations enable collision and self-collisions. Gravity. I mean, some some wind would be cool, but maybe there I can put in constraints, right? Isn't there like a constraint that vellum attached to geometry? Configure the vellum constraints. Well points. What is a well point? Stitch points. Struts. I would like to have some point vellum glue. Can I just, you know, add some blue? Ah, okay. Mm, do I have to? No, this wouldn't make too much sense, would it? Well, let's actually uh, see what the the, the, the the fluid is doing. I would like to see that. I would indeed like to see that. Let's put this in here. And then these two things in there. 
And now we wait and see what is happening. And we're still having some some gravity. And it is still being distorted by flow by by moving by fluid grain particle size. Maybe there is some other solver that we need. Post processing reference frame weapon. Transform pieces, unpack, configure hair. Maybe we also need a new solver. This I don't know why it would be the case. But I take it. I would indeed take it. Let's get rid of you. And I might have a point there. I may be having a point there because. Okay, we're still having. <laughs> we're having nothing. Wonderful. Methods use convex hull. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know, but I do like the the clothing ish whatever simulation stuff. I do think that's cool. Um, what are we having besides that in the vellum cloth fluid grain? We could have a look at the grain. Maybe we also need some constraint there. I don't know, you know, might be the case. There's also a drab or, or drape. It's probably not drab. But let's see what the grain is doing. Maybe it's also great. It, it is at least doing something. I don't know what the fluid is. I could Google really quickly. Um, Ah, okay. That is interesting. Apparently, one needs to um, turn the uh, the the fluid or the all of the solver into a, a polygon mesh, apparently, so that you can display it. Ah, okay. interesting so we might do it uh, after this is loaded um, and there are some some rather cool uses of um, of, of clothing simulations I'd say um that i have seen for example in works from sci arc from you know some person ah that is interesting it's completely demolishing it <laughs> i mean this has something <laughs> i don't know what it is at this point but <laughs> display as fierce. I mean, let's have a look at that. This is doing nothing. So what if, what if we're doing a VDP convert out of that and we are making a no VDB primitive found. Let's have a look.
<laughs> but there is a, a fluid particle one, VDB from fluid particle, which may work. Who knows? I mean, there is. Now, now we're having a box. <laughs> cool, nice. I'd always wanted to have a box. Constraints, they can uh, all scala, simulation, forces, solver, collision, whatever, visualize, whatever. Um, what I would like to do, just because I thought about this this project that I've seen there from SCI Arc, um, 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 maybe this works in the following way, when I'm having a bounding box, what is happening there? Okay, cool. Uh, Multi-bounding box, a Boolean union. No, um, having this bounding box, this should be something like this. Okay, great. Um, and now I would like to plug this in here. And I would like to have a collision. I would have would like to have a collision object. Uh, the collision object then being let's see if it's there. Um, configure properties. Attach constraints. Attach to geometry. What is that? I would like to just have a collision there with the original one. Wasn't the 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 rightmost one? Collision, yeah, wonderful. There we go. And so, oops. Um, why can't I see that? Have to? Can I? Ah, reset simulation. This is probably the thing, isn't it? But the problem there is, apparently, I mean, if both have the same gravity, it's kind of obvious that we are not seeing it, isn't it? Um, we could do, we could do a nine wind. So when we're doing a nine wind upwards, um, it's flying away. That is interesting. What about the two? I just wanted to to float more or less something like that. Wonderful. Um, even though it's quite unnecessary. Anyway, ah, uh, how can I? I would like one of them not being as fast. Uh, volume attached to geometry, attach constraints. Um, but there I can just plug in. Hmm, drag, fit in a stretch, bend. Geometry, mastic stretch, dynamic scale, simulation, advanced, open scale, what is doing this, fluids, interesting, collision passes, advanced forces. Um, what if we're having like something like this? And I would just like uh, stitch points. What is a stitch point? And what is a strut? I don't know. Have I had a look at this? 
vellum geometry. Okay, let's just do this anyway. Rest length, breaking attributes, attached to geometry. Okay, this is not giving me the options that I would like to have. Let's let's actually have a look at this. What was it? Uh, the vellum strut. What are you doing? Ah, I mean, I could. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, max strut length target. Stretch. I mean. I mean, let's. What happens now? Okay, it is still doing that. Um, maybe I have to also plug in the constraint there. Question mark. <laughs> Wonderful. Blissful animation, isn't it? What are you saying? Invalid source. Ah, okay, I, I'm not allowed to do so. Thank you. Come on. Ah, wrong button. Okay. Let's reset the simulation there. Okay, it's boring. It is boring as hell. Uh, what about... Uh, maybe a stitch point, shape match, distance, cloth, string, string, string? string. Well, what is a stitch point? Constrain the closest point. Group. What is this doing? I don't know what it does. We might just as well. We might just as well. Um, get rid of this idea completely. And, you know, just, just use this and see what, what we are coming along. Because, I mean, this is also kind of interesting. I mean, we could, again, like mirror it or some shit. Let's get rid of you as well. Um, but we could definitely also uh, add there like this bit of wind. And see what this does. And see what we're getting here or where we're getting at i mean it's just something uh, i don't want to act as if this was like the coolest thing that i've ever seen there no not the case really not the case but it's fine it really is fine because i think indeed that i'm gonna just take this one There's the collisions, there is the time scale, there are the forces and whatever. Um, I mean, we could just also do that, I guess. Okay. I think that we're just going to keep it like that, some sort of. Um, the question is, the question is, I would like this to, to be done. I would like this not to move anymore. And I don't know how this works. 
So I think we're... Hello? Miro, thank you. Um, I think no. Uh, one. And zero. And the origin. Maybe something like this. Looks like a pair of sheets. Or something like this. Yeah, 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 I will keep it, I think. Maybe also rotating it, if possible. Um, no. Um, so the problem I'm still having is, if I'm just moving this shit, can I bake? Bake volume? Bake ODE? Labs Baker? Simple Baker? I don't know. Lab simple baker. What are you doing? Target geometry. I don't want to target geometry. What if I press you? I think this does what I wanted to. I think this just did what I wanted to. What if I... Ah. A rendering image. Do I really want to render an image now? Oh no. I mean, this looks better <laughs> from from one side, from the other side, it's really not as good, but but I keep it like this. Um, so I think that I'm just you know not gonna use like the buttons there anymore. I don't know what this bake did. Maybe a, another bake, bake ODE required input. Okay, you get an input. I have a look at you. Keep original geometry. Okay, cool. And then we do that. And then I'm having this. What are you doing? <laughs> Bake. It's an SOP. But I still can move that. I don't know. I don't know at this point. And I can't also disconnect you there. No. Is there something like frame, polyframe? No. Ah, but what would be interesting is scatter. Because I haven't tried that yet. Um, scattering this one. And then this polyframe thing. Okay, style two edges. Um, Points. Do something. <laughs> Make something good. Um, I don't want, again, to do, like, the... Here, let's have a look at labs, whether there's something cool here. Um, I don't want to, again, you know, use those organic lines-ish type of thing. Labs disk generator, add labs color, extract borders. This could be interesting. What is happening there? Nothing apparently. That is wonderful. That is blissful. Um, geometry, cluster refined, Gaussian curvature, geometry, um, thicken, triple under displays. Tiles sample. There's also a mesh sharpen. This might have actually been interesting for certain things. Where are we? I just you know don't don't live anymore. 
at this point. Deform, labs deform curve, labs poly deform, extract, remesh, volume. Uh, well, I don't know. Sweep geometry, input mesh, input curve. Can't I just curve? Um, curve surface, curve is from edges. I'm probably getting like hundreds and thousands of them. But even though I mean this, uh, I'm gonna save it now. Input mesh, input curves, and now do something cool. It might take years now because it's actually quite a bunch of curves. And it's quite unnecessary to do so, to do that. Might just also not use this thing. Well, I don't know. Let's just. Poly wire. Let's just poly wire that. Uh, with a really small thing. I mean, this looks cool, doesn't it? And we're going to merge them and probably see nothing now. Oh no, we indeed see something. I mean, it's a cool effect, but we could also smooth. No smooth that and see what is happening okay a smaller one a tiny bit of a smaller one it's really interesting you know whenever you're smoothing something all of a sudden uh something is happening <laughs> Uh, divisions three. I don't need that high quality shit. And probably turning that up, and now it's probably gone. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, obviously it is gone now. I mean, this might look cooler. Yes, this does look cooler. I mean, it has something, I think. I think it has something. Maybe we are going to mirror that again. Because often mirroring is actually doing something good to it. And reducing the dis or increasing the distance even, apparently. Because th this is actually, this actually has something. And now again, no. Uh, even though I guess this was actually quite good. Yeah, I think that that I'm gonna keep it like this. Even though I'm gonna uh, convert VDB and VDB from polygons because I don't need like seven hundred billion faces there. It's really unnecessary. It's just making things really slow. Uh, might have an issue though with the, the small wires now. But maybe it's also looking cool when you're just, you know, having a few wires here and there and whatever, but not just everywhere. And we're going to do the polygon soup because apparently the polygon soup is uh, doing better with dealing uh, with uh, I mean, they, it, it's kind of mashing things together, some sort of, and we're also going to do point 0.2 there or something, or even point 0.3, because I just do not need, like, I, I would rather go 0 0.5 to just, you know, see a little tiny bit of those wires, um, but the rest, 
it's quite unnecessary. I might even go up with the adaptiveness then. Yeah, I mean it is shining through a little tiny bit. Um, like there. And I think it's cool. And I might actually get up to five. Yes. Yeah, and that is gonna be it. That is gonna be it. Let's ROG export that. I mean, of course, you know, you could have some stairs here and there and whatever to look even more uh, architectural. But yeah, this is gonna be it for today. See you hopefully soon.